So what, oh my God, it's a griddle. I wanted one and I was realizing I can't buy one for like 200 bucks. I don't really need one. Maybe on Sundays it would be fun, but I do not need an electric griddle. Then a company said, I'll send you an electric griddle if you review it. First thing I'm going to say is uh, this fits nicely right here. To, to the company that sent this, if you want to market this to families with children, you've got to talk about toxicity and what this stuff is and how to get it off before you first cook. I, I think it's probably canola oil. It doesn't smell toxic, but I know I'm going to wash it. And it doesn't say anything in here about what this is. I'm sure it's to keep it from rusting and keep it nice. Okay, squeaky clean. All right, I'm gonna make a kid favorite, egg in the basket. You want one? All right, oh good, all right. Okay, my daughter's here for her egg in the basket. Yes, you can, you heard the words egg in the basket. So the first step, great ingredients for your kids, a lot of fiber in the bread. We use Dave's bread, you could use a whole wheat, a whole grain, um, some fiber's good. The trick here for the egg in the basket is to use the right size hole cutter because the hole is the favorite part. So I'm just gonna turn it. And the magical hole of, is here and they like it because it's soaked in butter. And the bread. This I'm gonna cook in butter. Kids like butter. This griddle is on 150 degrees Celsius, 300 degrees Fahrenheit, roughly. Egg in the basket, let's see. Butter. The key to all happiness. The hole goes in the butter on that side. The egg. Now most kids actually want it a little scrambled. You don't want to scramble it too much because then you might as well make French toast because it will cover the whole thing. Oh, thank you. This goes fast. Put a little salt on. Now this new griddle, let's see how it's doing. Ooh, that's pretty fast. Okay, ready? Just a little bit. For the length of these. There we go. When they're young, they can eat a lot of butter. Papa should not eat a lot of butter. Oh, that always happens. Oh, look at that, it's perfect. Perfect. Looking good. Ready? Oh yeah. You're gonna eat this whole thing. You got the maple syrup, but it's got the protein of the egg, carbs, fiber. I love it. All right. Now let's do a, a test. No. Nope. Ooh, that's hot. That's hot. That's that's hot. Pretty good. Ooh, that's, that's pretty hot. That's pretty impressive. I'm gonna use a little safflower oil, a high heat oil. Seems pretty hot. Now I should say my go-to pans are cast iron because they last forever and we have kids. And normally my cast iron pans are seasoned beautifully, but I'm not a stickler for seasoning them uh, like some people are. I do use soap and water sometimes and uh, it's okay. I just season them up like this and uh, they're fine, they're fine. And I cook most things in these. I do it because they're indestructible and also can be used as a weapon and they're bulletproof, so. So it starts at 122 Fahrenheit and goes to 275. Okay, so you can tell how hot it is by the, where it comes on. 100 degrees Celsius, 215 Fahrenheit. That's fast. Let's try another experiment. I like eggs in olive oil. That's a lower heat oil, but let's flip it over into a little olive oil. That's done. Yeah, this is fun. I like it. 
I like it. Ooh, that worked. That came off with nothing. All right, that quesadilla came out good, and now this thing's getting hot, and I'm seeing a little smoke. Ah. All right, I don't know why this thrills me as much. The rest of the family is not as thrilled as this. <laughs> this is full of bacon grease and little bits of food, and then we'll dump it out of here, and then this is clean, and there's nothing in the sink. Uh, this could be used in a restaurant because it's so efficient. Um, so let don't tell anyone, though. Don't tell anyone. I know there's other things you can do, put on here and keep things warm in the corner, melt butter over here, and cook pancakes and put them into the side. So it'll be like short order cook, and I'm super psyched. Well, I love my new griddle. I have to say, uh, we're gonna have to take it off the stove, though, and uh, be able to boil big pots of water and stuff. But uh, we're gonna have fun on weekends, and thanks for sending it Dino Living. In general, though, this seems to be a nice electric griddle. And if you look online, you know, I don't know if, which ones come from the same factory, but uh, the trick I always try to find is the specs. Often you can say, wait, these all look the same, particularly like the interface, if, all, if, if it has that, any of them with two of those on each side, and a back that looks like that are probably from the same factory. So, you know, do you need one of these? That's really uh, something only you guys out there can ask yourselves. Do you want one? You probably want one. If you like to cook, you really want one of these, I think, just because they're, they're fun. They're fun. Next Sunday, Caleb's Kitchen's opening at 9 a.m.